belong to him. Mimi nyuake. He has sent me out. Amen. Amen. Tuma. I am his ambassador. Mimi nimtumi shuake. And the Bible says. Mandiko inasema. What soldier? Ni askari mgan. At any time. Katika kila mara. Goes out. Ambaye anatoka. Into warfare. Na ingia vitani. At his own expense. Kwa galama yake ye mwenyewe. It doesn't happen. Haipaniki vitani. And God is not expecting you to carry the burden of ministry. Let me say this. If you're not happy, you need to get happy in God. Don't let your life be just ministry all the time. Jesus himself pulled apart from the crowds, from the great meetings, and he got along with God, and he built himself up. He spent time in prayer. He got refreshed. Again, it's not about what you can do for him. It's always Jesus. It's his ministry. It's not your ministry. It's his ministry. And he will do the work through you. Of course we're faithful to do our day-to-day -day duties. But as soon as that starts getting heavy, I have lost sight of who is my strength. When I get up, even today, I said, Lord, Thank you for the strength to do the things that I must do. Thank you for the anointing of God and the direction of the Spirit of God to help me. Without you, I can do nothing. Jesus himself said, it was the Father in him. He did the works. Amen? Amen. Amen. We'll look at some other things here. In Numbers, the 13th chapter. When the children of Israel were going to take the promised land, they said that the sons of Anak which were come from the giants. This is around verse 33. We were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. Now where did they get the idea that they were grasshoppers in those people's sight. Why did they think they were outmatched? It was because the enemy of their soul was causing them to be moved by what they saw. Instead of God Almighty, who told them he had given them the land. We must remember what God has given. Whoever God calls, He equips. He empowers. And He provides. Where God provides you, where God guides you, I should say, He will provide for you. God is always faithful. Let me say this to you. Payday doesn't always come. <clears throat> On every Friday. But God is always faithful. <laughs> to reward 
kulipia hivyo your faithfulness uaminifu wako if you will stay with god's word ikiwa utadumu katika neno la mungu the word of god will stay with you neno la mungu litakaa nawe now listen hebu sikio effective prayer maombi yanayo nguvu prayer that gets results maombi yanayopata majibu will always be kila mara yatakuwa without exception uh, bila Yo. <laughs> when we pray the word of god wakati tunaomba neno la mungu god said he watches over his word to perform it maana nasema mungu analitazamia neno lake kulitimiza if you're praying in fear kama unaomba kwa hofu or in worry ama kwa kufujika moyo or if we come begging god ama tukikuja tu tukimsihi mungu because the need is so urgent kwa sababu hitaji hapa hapa ni dharura or or is so big ama ni kubwa sana god's not hearing that mungu asikii hayo just simply go to him with his word Listen, we're not talking God into doing things. We have to remember we're in a covenant. Lazima tukumbuke tuko katika agano. What God called you to do? Kile ambacho Mungu alikuitia kufanya. He's already provided for you. Diari amekutwalia. We just forget that. Ila ni mara nyingi tunasahau haya. And we look at what we don't have. Na tunaangalia kile hatuna. And what hasn't happened. Na kila ambao hakitatendeka. But get your mind off the the difficulties. Lakini ondoa mawazo yako katika wewe ugumu. And the things that haven't happened. Na yale mambo hayajatendeka. And the things that you don't see. Na yale mambo hauoni. And the impossibility. Na yale mambo hayawezekani. And see the greatness of God. Na uone ukuu wa Bwana. And see the possibilities. Na uone uwezekano that can happen in God. Ambao yawezekana kwa Mungu. If you're not dreaming, ikiwa hauoti great things in god mama makubwa ndani ya mungu if you don't allow yourself ikiwa haujiruhusu wewe to see yourself being successful kujiona ukiwa umefanikiwa and god breaking through na mungu akikupenyesha when there was no way to get through mahali hapo hakukuwa na njia ya kupenya then you are robbing yourself wewe unajiimbia of the blessing of god baraka za mungu you got to see yourself overcome lazima ujione umeshinda you must see yourself with the provision if you don't have the two people in your church you be faithful to minister to the two you don't worry about who's not there you get concerned with who is there we don't worry about the money that's not there we thank god for what we do have it could be worse sometimes we get upset as preachers and ministers and because we have some people in our churches they are a pain they're a hassle we wish they weren't there they got a mouth <laughs> they have an attitude <laughs> you would like to just take them out and skin them alive and then salt them down real good <laughs> and hang them out to dry <laughs> and if you haven't been there yet you have not been in ministry very long <laughs> come on let's be real can we we have those thoughts i know you look spiritual today <laughs> but you know you feel like that yes. that's when we have to remember the love of god and remember this one thing about those honorary people it could be worse you could be them Thank God you're not them. God is, God is good to us. And we've got to keep our focus. In the right place. Now listen. I've lost my focus before. Maybe more times than I want to say. But that doesn't make you a failure. A failure is someone 
Aliyeshiba ni mtu that after they fallen down maana ya kuanguka they refuse to get up wanakataa kuinuka amen you may get up weak unaweza inuka ukiwa na mnyonge you may have looked like you just been in a boxing match unaweza onekana kama kama umetoka kwenye uwanja wa dodi you only have one tooth left na uko na jino moja limebaki the rest are on the ground you are in your head or chini you're bleeding unatoka damu you're hurt Umeumia, you're discouraged. Umefujika moyo. You're scared. Una hofu. But let me tell you something about courage. Awaje nikwambie kitu kuhusu ujasiri. Courage, ujasiri will rise up itainuka and do something afraid anyway. Na ifanye kitu hata kama inaogopa. It takes courage. Itachukua ujasiri to continue in ministry. Kuendelea katika huduma. Sometimes. Mara nyingi You have to look past the feelings. Lazima uwa, ama uwa, utoke katika hisia. And you have to reach down deep. Na uingie hasa undani. And tap into the strength of God. Na uweze kuguzia ama kupata nguvu za Mungu. David himself had to encourage himself. Daud mwenyewe lazima akijihimiza. In the Lord. Ndani ya Bwana. When he went out to war, wakati alienda vitani, his whole town of Ziklag was was burned with fire the wives and the children were taken captive and his own men wanted to stone him Maybe some of you pastors here. Wengine wajungaji wengine hapa. Wonder if your church people wanted to stone you. Kuna maana siku wengine eh watu wengi walikuwa wanataka kuwapiga mawe. But he turned to God. Lakini Daudi alimgeukia Mungu. And he said, "Should I rise up?" Na kamuza, "Bwana niinuke?" And should I go take back what is stolen? Na niwafuate niweze kupokea kilichoimbiwa? And God said, "Go." Bwana akamwambia, "Ndio enenda." For you will surely maana kwa hakika recover all. Utaipokea yote. I tell you there's recovery in God. Nikwambia kuna kuipokea tena ndani ya Bwana. It doesn't matter what didn't work. Haijalishi nini akikufanya kazi. It doesn't matter about the supply that didn't show up. Haijalishi nini ambao hakikua. It doesn't matter how much your resources got drained. Haijalishi ni jinsi gani eh kutoroa kwako kumekata ama kumekatika. And the needs keep piling up. You can recover. In God, if you won't quit. If you won't give up. If you keep your focus. On the faithfulness of God. Thanks be unto God. Which always causes us to triumph. Through Jesus Christ. Say this with me. I am his. He is mine. He is mine. I belong to God. I belong to God. He is my covenant partner. He is my covenant partner. He's my source and my supply. <laughs> He's my source and my supply. He's the strength of my joy. <laughs> He is the strength of my joy. He is my peace. He is my peace. He's my abundant provision. He is my abundant provision. He is the strength of my vision. He is the strength of my vision. And he is the one that empowers me. And he is the one that empowers me to fulfill this call. To fulfill this call on my life. On my life. Amen. Amen. We need to know these things as ministers. Listen, Zekiza. When you're called into the ministry, the enemy has his crosshairs of the rifle on you. Crosshairs like a scope on a rifle. Oh, You've been marked. There's a target on you. But you remember this. The Lord Jesus Christ, Bwana Yesu Kristo, who made a show of Satan openly, ambaye aliweza kumaibisha shetani wazi, and defeated him, na alimshinda, 
in front of all those demons Na ya zile zote, is the same one ni yele yule, who lives in you. Na, na yako. And it's that greater one in you na yule yako. and the word of God that you know na neno la mungu na lejua, that you're going to speak out of your mouth chako, in the name of Jesus jina la yesu, that makes the devils tremble when you come. No, the devil's not afraid of you. It's the Jesus in you. It's you walking in your authority as a child of God. Walking in the name of Jesus. Taking your rights and using that powerful name. That's what makes devils tremble. And that's why the thoughts of doubt and discouragement they'll come to attack your mind. And they'll say, you ought to just quit. It's just not worth it. When I was in Oklahoma, the Lord spoke to me at a time of prayer. And he said there was people here that would be in this meeting. You've been discouraged. Now listen. Whatever is said here as far as ministry to each one of you it stays right here if you've been discouraged we don't take this to the town Amen? Amen. Ministers have to have a place where they can receive from God too. Where they don't have to be embarrassed or ashamed if they felt like quitting the ministry. Now I'm going to tell you this on myself. I've been in ministry since 1985. And there's been many times where I felt like quitting. I just didn't let my body get involved with it. I may have felt discouraged. Thought I had reasons to give up. Felt like nobody was with me. And then this old gospel song would come up. None go with me. I will still follow. And I just begin to sing that. And I'd say that to the Lord. And God would recover me. And I have never quit in 30 years. God told me that some of you were very discouraged. But I want to pray for you today. And God is going to do something very supernatural in you. I know there's some hurt in some of you. Sometimes ministry can have a way as just chewing you up and spitting you out. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Sometimes, some of the meanest people, they can be Christians. Some of the people that you've reached to help the most might talk about you behind your back. But we're called. And, and, and when they come in trouble, if we're men and women of God, we're just going to come out and minister them. Because that's who we are. That's what we do. But right now, some of you that are hurt. The Spirit of God's going to get that hurt out of you. Some of you that are discouraged. Your mind's in a fog. 
There's confusion. God's going to remove it. He's going to set you free of it. He's going to do it right here. Right now. In this room. And I know we got a bunch of chairs here. But if I have described you in any way. I may go step over this way and I'm going to pray for you. This is so strong on my heart. Some of you have been through some other things. And it's not my business. But God said this to me. You need to be restored. The Bible says this in Isaiah. And I don't have the exact chapter and verse right at the moment. I think it's somewhere in between the 50th and 60th chapter. But he said, my people are broken down and they're hurt and no one says restore. God is not happy about that. When the people that need restoration no one's coming with a message of restoration. But I'm telling you right now, God spoke to me more than a week ago that he wanted to bring restoration into the lives of some ministers here. So whatever your need is, I'm trusting that God's going to do something in you. He's going to do what no other power can do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, Amen. I'm just going to move over to this section of the room. And the first few things I spoke about, if you're dealing with discouragement, Disappointment. Even felt like you wanted to quit. Like I have. Then I want to pray for you. I'm going over this way right now. And I want you to come. <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are. Remember, what happens here? It stays here. There's no shame here. No shame. In ministry, we feel like we have to put on an image. 